Okay, so it's been a 15 hour travel day through Glacier National Park. We have arrived in uh, Cutbank, uh, Cutbank, Montana, um, because that's the closest hotel we got. So I had a reservation set up for, uh, set up in like mid June for, uh, the reservation was for $59 and 40 cents. It was for a deluxe room, which is one king size bed. When uh, I got here, they uh, did not have a room for me, or at least it didn't seem like they did. And then they finally found one, so I'm in that room. They jacked the price up on me $50. So they said, well, the, the market is, you know, the room value is such and such, and, and, you know, the reservation basically doesn't count. So I was told that I had to pay $60.00 ended up paying like 110. So let's, we're gonna take a look at this room though, real quick. Let's see if I can flip this around. Okay, so let's start with the door. That's nice there. Trim piece, all out of whack. All right, door kind of sticks a little bit. Let's take a look. So, kind of some tiled floor here. Um, here's the sink, two different colored lights outside. Go into the bathroom, a wadded up shower curtain there, which looks really, really dirty. Some grout issue there, looks really, really scummy. Who knows, there's a hair there, that's nice. Um, again, grout stuff along the wall there. And let's go out here. And no nightstand or anything. They just have the table or the lamp just laying on the bed. All right. So there's your light. There's where there's supposed to be a light. And instead it's just bare wiring. Uh, I'm not sure if this light here works or not I can try this oh it does work so really kind of three different lights in here um, I asked for a king size single king size room didn't get that I'm actually across the street from the main hotel here's the television just sitting on a counter here is the look of the air conditioner. Who knows how well it will work. Windows are not very secure. Basically, like everything is just unfinished here. This one actually looks like it's open. It was. So we'll lock that. And then if we look at the microwave. Uh, relatively clean inside, however, no, the refrigerator is not. Look at all that. So, pretty scummy looking refrigerator too. Stains all over the ironing board, not that I would really use that. The floor, you know, whatever. Maybe we ought to pull down the sheets and see what we got here. Let's do that. So, stains on the bedspread, almost kind of looks like blood, scary thought. I mean, this stuff here is pretty dingy looking. I know you can't really see that in the camera view. Let's put the lamp on the floor because apparently that's where that's going to go. Who knows here, a uh, big stain there. So needless to say, I'm probably gonna be sleeping on top of the covers tonight. You know, nobody cleaned that. Um, the front of the microwave, I know it's kind of hard to see, but it's all gross and smudgy. Just a couple more spots that I found while walking around 
I mean, that's pretty gross stuff there. No vacuum has been run here. Um, and down here where the tub is, I mean, it just looks very not presentable. I mean, I, I can live with out of date, but I don't like that I made a reservation. It was for a certain cost. I went through some whole big rigmarole where I may or may not have gotten, it doesn't look like I got, I definitely did not get the room that I got that I wanted. And they jacked the price up because they say, well, that's what the market is. And my parents went through the same thing. They had a reservation that was for two queen beds. They actually did get two queen bed room, but they jacked the price up on them 30 or $40. So, needless to say, we're going to be talking to the managers here. One thing I forgot to add, the person that I was dealing with at the counter, the person that we were all dealing with at the counter, <laughs> in his reasoning as to why he could not accommodate our price was, I mean, this guy with me, he actually, he pulled out the calculator. He pulled out a calculator and he goes, see, you reserved the room for $60 and the room is actually worth 110. So that's this much difference. If I multiplied that by however many rooms we have, which is like 38 or 40 or something like that, for every day of the month, this is how much money I'd be losing. It was like $40,000 or something like that. Way to go on the math, why do I care? I mean, like the guy literally said, he said, um, you know, the, he brought up like, well, this is the money, money that really the town needs. You know, the town needs a lot of care. What? I, I'm not from here. What do I care if your town gets improved or not? That was one thing. And then the other thing, the funniest thing was, is he's like, you know, like these rooms, these are what they're worth. They're really, really nice rooms. Evidence to the contrary. Um, they're nice rooms. You're not going to, you know, look around and see, this is his actual words. You're not going to look around and see any hypodermic needles or anything like that. Like that's something that's normal. Are you kidding me? Update at approximately 20 till 11 or quarter till 11, somewhere around there. Housekeeping knocks on the door. Not sure what they want. And apparently they wanted to bring in the missing nightstands for some reason. At, you know, like an hour after I checked in. And at almost 11 o'clock at night, they wanted to modify the room. Anyway.